Let us start by unraveling the concept of a doctor. The term doctor is rooted in the Latin verb docere, denoting to teach or a scholar. Interestingly, it was during the Middle Ages when the term began to be used to identify eminent scholars. These doctorates, dating back to the 1300s, were held in high esteem and prestige. Now, let's turn our attention to the matter at hand, fever. Fever has been a cornerstone for diagnosing illnesses for centuries. Yet, it's intriguing to note that the notion of the body's average temperature being 37 degrees Celsius isn't universally agreed upon by medical professionals. This number fluctuates from person to person and even throughout the day. The trigger behind a fever the chemicals produced by our immune system which act as gatekeepers preventing harmful bacteria or viruses from invading our bodies. A prevalent fallacy is that the intensity of a fever is a direct reflection of the severity of an illness. However, a child with a life-threatening condition like meningitis may exhibit only a mild fever or even feel cold. The term delirium is used to describe behavioral changes that occur when temperatures spike. The discomfort experienced by the bacteria in our guts causes our brain to release certain chemicals. Most fevers resolve themselves within a few days. In fact, a mild fever up to 39 degrees Celsius can assist the immune system, warding off bacterial invasions. Rapid spikes in body temperature can cause convulsions in children between six months and six years. The temperature doesn't need to skyrocket to 40.4 degrees Celsius for these convulsions to occur. Remember, fever is not a disease but a normal reaction to a stimulus. It's akin to your face swelling and reddening after being slapped. The fear of infection has been leveraged by medical professionals for years, utilizing drugs to treat the symptoms. The practice of labeling diseases based on symptoms or affected body parts was born from the patient's simple question, what's wrong with me? Inflammation can be triggered by an infection, but it can also have hundreds of other causes. Even the enigma of cancer, a type of inflammation beyond the reach of antibiotics remains largely unexplained. While drugs seldom cure, they are designed to alleviate pain and suffering. In summary, the term doctor originated as a title for respected scholars. The concept of fever is a natural body response to ward off potential threats and its intensity does not necessarily reflect the severity of an illness. Though the medical world has made strides in understanding and treating various conditions, it's important to remember that not all ailments can be neatly labeled and cured with drugs. The human body is complex and understanding it fully remains one of the greatest challenges of our time